Ring a ding ding, they say. Hello. There you are. You are you live here on the Pepper Stewart show? Yes, sir. What is going on? What are you what are you doing right now? Right this second, what are you doing? Oh, I'm riding fixing around fixing ride my horse into the box and score a few calves and uh drive to the foster grip broken tomorrow evening. You ought to see if you can hold the phone up to hold the phone to your ear and catch that calf at the same time so we can hear what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> see if that'll work. Get a little kind of effect yeah. at you. Live, live action oh, going yeah. on. Live <laughs> action right there. So so what have you been up to? You been staying busy? Man, I've been busy. We've been I've been up there at football two a days, you know, summer workouts for the last six or six or seven weeks and then this week started a full week or two a days and and uh, just been take, that takes up about half my day, and then uh, just been turning calves out from Blake in the evening, and Ethan Roping, and then uh, got the Spicer Grip Roping this weekend in Hereford on Saturday. So I thought I might run me a couple this evening. That's how they plan to how how them kids you know two a days just getting going, schools it going. How how are those kids looking? Are we, are we looking another another oh, good man. run? We've got a we've got a, a team that you know you just hope for every few years and uh i think this year is that year that uh we've kind of got all the kids that that we really need in every position and and you know the town town's excited for this year and uh a bunch of bunch of kids that working hard and it, it looks good for high school texas well that'd be that'd be a good deal we know we know you work hard with them kids getting them getting them in shape and getting them going so it's always good to see those see those guys make a run at it yes sir of course, you make a run at it too. Yeah, that's <laughs> what I need to do. I, I got my butt this practice pen today. Good deal. Well, at least you're open calves. Not uh, that yes, we sir. we yes, did sir. catch uh, we did catch the airing. I guess the airing was here last week or so of uh, of bushwhacked. So how uh, how's he coming along? He's doing really good, man. He's you know I, I bucked him two or three times in the last two months and got to kind of give him a little break because he's, he's just a three year old so. Don't wanna, don't wanna burn him out. Wanna, you know, give him every chance he, he can possibly be to, you know, to hopefully be something close to his daddy, you know. Yeah. So that's we just been pushing him and, and you know got him on a good speed program and and uh, just letting him grow. Uh, probably, probably you know with them uh, New Orleans and maybe the one in, in Georgia. Probably try to take him to those two, and then save him back till you know till the finals. Yeah. Well, you got what other other than bushwhack. We know you've been you know you've had a a good a, a pretty good bull breeding program going for a lot of years and and things. And uh, have, you got anything else you know besides you got bushwhacked out there that's getting a lot of recognition now. You got anything else that's kind of kind of sneaking up on him or, or kind of hidden yeah. there that. That'd be a good deal. Now, now tell us, tell us about your horsepower. What, uh, what are you running right now? Well, I just got one right now. So that buckskin horse I've been riding, I call him Game Changer, and you know he's just been, he's just been solid. You know, uh, you know I, every day I miss Pearl, but you know them, them horses are, you know, I've had four or five of them like her, and, and a lot of people only have one in a lifetime. So, but you know, ever since I've been off her, I've sure missed her, but. This buckskin, just you know, he's been a winner. He just uh, there's just not you can't compare anything, you know, to her. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's one of them. A lot, a lot of folks, some folks never never get to the point to get on, you know, get to ride that one, and uh, you know, to, to do that, it's 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 a great accomplishment. Yes, sir. So with with the you got the rope and the bull ride and everything going on, and you just had your big. Uh, your big bull ride out there. Uh, how yeah, that? How, how was the? Uh, how was the turnout for that? It, it was really good. Uh, it, you know, it's just growing every year. Uh, 
had a great time out, had a good bull riding, and uh, you know, like I said, it's just we moved it into the, it now it's into the summertime. It's not during the school year, so uh, kind of gives me a little more time to get it going. And then Albuquerque was right on top of the old date. Was right on top of the old date, so uh, it's uh, it's good. You know, next year it'll be 100% back on track, and and uh, everybody kind of maybe had some you know summer dates already booked. You know, with us having to move the date of the bull riding. But as far as everything else, it was good. All it had all the sponsors sang, and everybody's good there, so uh, it was a success. Well, that's 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 good to hear. Growing and, and keep that thing going. Uh, one of, one of the questions we get a lot of times from from, uh, from a lot of the viewers and things, and, and they want to know. And one of the questions we got to ask a lot is, what ropes or what what is the rope that Cody O is roping with? I use King Polygrass calf rope. Uh, you know they're out of Sheridan, Wyoming, and ninety uh, percent of of calf ropers that's what they use, and uh, they they've been really great to me and. And have always had the best best rope there is, so that's what I went with. And then uh, when it comes to picking strings, uh, I use Dennis Willard. He's out of Caldwell, Texas, and uh, he pretty much makes the best picking strings there are. And that, and that speaking of picking string, that that was the next uh, the next most asked question we had. Because a lot of times we you know we throw the stuff out there on the internet and we say you know we got. We're talking to so and so. We're talking to this. If you got something you want to ask or something you didn't know or whatever, right. and and a lot of folks want to know is how many times do you use the same picking string? Well, I, I like to I like to break mine in quite a bit. I don't like to use them too brand new. Uh, and so you know, with the way the ERA is now, you know, they get two runs. I, I've, I've actually used the same picking string. Uh, you know, probably the last three or four events, and. Still, and, and you know, and it's still in good shape. But you know, when I'm rodeoing hard, uh, you know, I'll I'll use it eight or ten times, and then and then swap to another one. But I try to have all of them broke in about the same one. I want to start back, you know, start up with a new one. All right. I don't like to have one that's that's newer than what I'm used to, or, or older than what I'm used to. So I try to break in about six or eight picking strings, and and try to break them in all, you know, about the exact same. So then when I make a good run and then and throw that one in the sands or or it gets too fuzzy or whatever happens you know i i have one to you know just take take off with it that felt just like what i was using okay all right yeah because a lot of folks because because you know you know these these announcers want to get out there on the on the telecast all the time we see that pig in a string you know where that thing goes you know what them calves stand in well they what are they eat you know so that, they like to wear it out so that's what everybody's like well well, how many, do they use it once? Use it twice? Use it over? What do they do? So <laughs> that that'll kind of fill them in. Let them know, hey, you know, it's that's, that's all part of it. Yes, sir. Yeah. All part of it. What's what's your uh, what's your guilty pleasure TV show you're watching right now? Man, I don't know. We 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 watch a bunch. Of, my wife watches a bunch of different stuff, but the uh, uh, Ninja Warrior show. Yeah. <laughs> we watch it all the time, and then uh, my little my little girl. She, she likes that America's Got Talent, so we watch we watch that quite a bit. But right now, that's about the that's about the main two, you know, other than Sports Center. That's it. What? Yeah. Staying busy. Staying busy. What? You got you got a lot you got a lot of stuff going on. Yeah, I do. I mean, like I said, it's, you know, from seven in the morning till you know twelve thirty in the afternoon. It's it's football and and uh, and my two kids and then my daughter and you know it just takes up most of that time and. Then, she just too hot to do anything else, you know, for a few hours, and then we try to get some roping in in the evening and little dinner together, and then throw it all over the next day. Yeah, that's what it seems like. Well, I tell you what, uh, uh, Cody, man, we appreciate you visiting with us and, and telling us a little bit about, you know, what you got going on and what you're up to, and and them guilty pleasure TV shows and things, and we'll let you get back to roping. And, all uh, right, buddy. Well, I enjoyed it. Appreciate uh, it. I, I appreciate you, man, and we'll catch you on the rodeo road. That's the man right there, Cody O.